Hi everyone, today we're back landscaping. Heading out the door just before 6.30 on this Monday morning. It's brisk out here, it's about 43 degrees. I have a sweatshirt and a warm cup of coffee here. Let's hop in the F-250. Let's get over to the shop. As mid-November approaches, all the leaves have fallen off the trees and this will be our final day cleaning up the leaves, which is pretty exciting here. It has been a super busy last three weeks. Uh, cleaning up lots of leaves here, truckloads of full of leaves we've had to haul off properties here. But look at that, guys. It is a Monday. It looks like almost all the crews are here. That is good. As the season comes to an end, we're trying to do that one final push before winter. And then we get to slow down here. But I'm going to check a few things here on my laptop in the truck. And then we'll get going with what we need. This morning we have two crews going out here, one with the leaf vacuum, the other one to do some other properties where just a few leaves have fallen here. But like I mentioned, our final day of fall cleanups, I'm super excited for here. But wow, guys, look at this. We got the Cummins, we got the Skid Sears over here. We got uh, so many different things here. The dump trailer, the excavators, and one of the bigger excavators around back. But I'm going to be taking the leaf vacuum and we're going to be taking the F-250 here. So let's see if the mowers are in inside okay so we have one mower here so we need to take another one with us and uh we are going to be doing a little bit of uh, smaller properties so guys we're going to be taking the john deere this is a 42 inch mower this is just going to fit in those uh gates and then we do have to take the bagger off so this is going to work and then we do need to grab a leaf vacuum We are also going to be bringing a handheld leaf blower with us here, so that should be helpful. And I think uh, both the leaf blowers and that a mower will do the trick here, but the crew's going to head on out. I'm going to double check a few things here at the shop, and I'm going to get going here with the Chevy 5500. I'm leaving the shop just about 7 a.m. here, right on time. That's when I usually try to leave here, but for Monday, guys, that has been a great start today. We had a few equipment uh, breakdowns that I just had to fix here. I had to put a new belt on one of the other zero turns here, but this, like I mentioned, guys, we, uh, is our last day here. So later on this week, we have to take the box off this. We have to drop the vacuum back off at the local dealer here because we were only leasing it, renting it uh, for three months here. But wow, guys, it just came so quick here. Time flies, especially when you're busy working and that has been the case here for us. So I, we've all been working very late, just trying to get as many jobs done as we can. And the phone keeps on ringing, so we're gonna keep taking them. Like always, guys, there's a full mods list link down below. And if you end up enjoying today's video, help me out by hitting the like button. All right, we're just getting over to a property here. We'll do a quick walk around, but like I mentioned, guys, all the leaves have fallen off the trees here. Oh, look at that. There are so many leaves along the walkway here, uh, the front porch, all along the foundation here. And the problem with this one, guys, is this is a tiny backyard. Look at that. Wow. Uh, you can't really get a big mower in here, not the 72-inch mowers here. But look at that. Yeah, there's no, not a single leaf on the trees. So why don't we get out the leaf blowers here. I think we'll probably get going both with the skag and the uh, still leaf blower here. And we need to get it all blown away from the fence line. And we do have to go probably about 15 feet back is what they asked for as well. We'll do that just with a leaf blower. So let's get going. All right, we're just gonna use a small leaf blower here to just blow off the porch, and we just want these to go into the yard. That way, we could just run them over and collect them with the bagger is what the game plan's gonna be. Now, I do strive for realism here with Farmerson, but, uh, but sometimes, like today, we just have to roleplay that there is leaves here, and I do try my best as well, but there's so many leaves back here, especially in these corners. Uh, that's, it just seems like where the wind wants to take all the leaves. Alright, a little bit more over here, right there, should be good, perfect. And we'll bring that back to the truck and let's a leaf blow behind the fence and then we'll get going on collecting all leaves inside here. 
fall leaf cleanups take a lot more time than mowing so we do charge a bit of a premium and you guys can see we are moving so so many leaves here this 25 horsepower leaf uh blower here is one of my favorites i do want to get one that goes on the zero turn maybe next year we'll buy one of those things but wow guys we are moving so much leaves We'll just go once back here. We're just trying to move it back further uh, to a property line since this is still our customers. Just that the fence doesn't go all the way here. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. I think that should be good. We blew them all to woodline. All right, we got the bagger on the John Deere, so we'll just go until the bag fills up here. It's a smaller bag compared to our zero turns, uh, so it's going to take us a little bit more time here. But these smaller backyards, guys, you can make a lot of money mowing these because not all the companies have these smaller mowers here. And uh, some of the companies want to do all the big properties here, so that's why we have quite a few of these. And they are actually quite profitable, even though it's a smaller area to mow. And right as we're done here, this bag is full. So we're just going to make a pile at the leaf vacuum here. And then let's see here. Right there should be good. We'll just take the bag off, make a big pile, and we'll get that thing fired up at the end. And we're on to the backyard here. Now, some of you guys might be asking, Square, are you still going to be doing uh, more uh, landscaping and lawn care throughout the winter? Yes, I have quite a few things planned, and uh, we'll just uh, continue to work here. But I also try to go with the seasons the best I can. So hopefully, we get a lot, a lot of snow because I want to make some money snow plowing and uh, to bring the camera along with you guys here. But we are just about full. Let's keep on going. Yeah, that should be it here. So I'm actually just going to carry the bag all the way back here. Let's take the bag off. Let's empty it, and we'll uh, have to carry it back. All right, hopping back on the mower here. Now, carrying the bag might be a little bit more work, but I do think it's also easier at the same time. So smaller yards means it's a little bit different here, and it's not that heavy, maybe 25, 30 pounds here. It's just all small uh, crunched up leaves, but guys, the, this fall we've had so many leaves here uh, we've had probably 15 to 20 full truckloads of leaves and uh, they just kept on falling until the last week or so we've been really able to clean it up here but there we have it guys uh this property looks awesome so we got the back cleaned up here we got all the bushes all the leaves everything cleaned up there which is a good thing here so we'll get the uh, vacuum fired on up here it's just a nice uh, button to start here and we'll get to vacuuming it up all right, guys, there we have it. Only took a few minutes there. So there it is, guys, the last fall leaf cleanup of 2022. Super exciting. But having the right equipment, the right tools throughout the uh, season and throughout the last few weeks has really helped us on out here. But hope you guys are excited for what's to come with the business. Until next time, thanks for watching. Stay tuned and subscribe for more.